Well, I always try and look for lines that are unique, you know, no matter what. I like lines that are, you know, dynamic and force you to really be on it and ride your bike between moves. <sighs> lines that, that link up multiple, that with multiple hits, you know, where you're actually riding in between them, you got a corner and brake. That's one reason that this particular line really appeals to me because it has this big mountain feel and very steep, but right in the middle of it, you throw this super technical on off rock. Um, you know, that, that just makes it so much, so much harder and so much different than anything I've ever done. I have four fingers holding the handlebar and I'm really just knuckle breaking. This is an absolute incredible laboratory. You can't get a better scientist than Thomas Vanderham to really run the test for you. My name is Matt Robertson. I'm the product manager for Shimano. And we're here in Utah to test the first prototypes of the new Saint Group. You watch the riders, they move and they flow. It's like water going down a hill sometimes. We were able to bring the, the Shadow RD technology, so the low profile shadow that we brought out uh, a couple years back with XT, and make a truly dedicated downhill rear derailleur system. There's an ability to run a road cassette or a full mountain bike cassette, which is definitely new and unique. The brakes, you're gonna get a lot more power, about 50% more power, but you'll maintain all the controllability the new Saint Crank and able to shave a significant amount of weight but maintain not only all the original strength but it actually increased the strength. I think that's pretty much it. And I think from the looks of it we might have to add to the right side a little bit. Just try and you know bring it out to barrier it out to here. We gotta find that fine line between speed and, and pop. I mean, this is really a tough section, and it, it's going to be on him to extract, you know, everything he's got. So to have that confidence that the bicycle is just not an issue, it's just not a factor, you know, it's going to do exactly what it needs to do. The fact that after one day of testing that he's willing to shoot that gap, it's a great uh, early report on, on his opinion of the product and the performance. What's most important is that you are excited to ride it. You can't be forced by anyone or you can't force yourself you got to do it yourself, you got to build it yourself, you got to be here with the shovel because you need to you need to ride it the way that you envision it. You see guys put the work in to make a whole line from top to bottom um, rather than just a one hit. It's uh, it's a lot more fulfilling. Oh man! Wow, that's a that's a rush, man. Yeah. <laughs>